Okay. The decision to build the highest tower in the world for the 1889 Universal Exhibition was a formidable challenge for France's engineers. The FL Company proposed the 300 meter high tower with very light architecture weighing 7,300 tons, built out of puddled iron from semi-finished products, angle bars, flat bars and rivets, which altogether would fill a cube with sides of around 10 meters. This huge construction was to be assembled using red-hot rivets, which squeeze the pieces between them as they cool. corrected by jacks, which were only used during construction to get the first floor platform horizontal. The tower took just 24 months to put up by prefabricating 5 meter segments designed to be assembled symmetrically. 18,000 pieces are held in place by 2,500,000 rivets. The tower has a system of cross braces from top to bottom to keep it rigid. They hold the truss frames and platforms together and give the structure its static equilibrium. It's a light and airy structure weighing hardly more than the weight of the air in the rectangular parallelepiped it could stand in. going up in the air has a large platform 300 meters high. The top of the Eiffel Tower moves very slightly. It's subject to several types of movement caused by the wind and the sun. Over long periods, daily movements of about 12 centimeters on a sunny day, and also over short periods occurring approximately every three seconds and covering about two centimeters with a 60 or 70 kilometer per hour wind. more significant than the effect of the wind. At the movement observatory you can see the movements of the top of the tower depicted in real time.